hello and welcome back to my channel in this video we are going to create an amazing project which will be a uh, an online radio like this one here you can put one channel and right now the radio has started playing but you cannot hear the sound because this is just my phone and it is outside of the recording let me try to turn on the audio and see okay so this is the kind of project you are going to create and after creating this kind of project you can put ad mob ads or any other ad network that i describe on this channel then you can publish your app to an app store and start making some money from it let's get started first the requirements you need a stream url for that radio station or radio channel that you are going to put in the app so i will just get the channel link and put it here so i'm going to use this website or oh, if you are you want to use any other radio you can search for online radios online then you can copy the stream url so i want to use maybe this channel i first play it yeah let's see it's working so what i will do it is to right click on this one then click copy audio address now if i paste this audio address in the browser i see it leads me directly to this player so what we can do in our android app is just use a web view and play this audio so I keep my link here and now let's open android studio and create a new project this project i'm going to use java and xml for a layout so i'll choose empty views activity and click next then i'm going to create to call it radio tutorial then the language will be java and i'm just going to use android 8 and above grado i want to use groovy then we finish so we wait a few moments for the project to synchronize project is now ready so we start by going to manifest and we'll add the internet permission above the opening application tag put users permission so the name will be android permission dot internet that's it now we design the layout open this in the split view And I'm first going to change this to a linear layout because I want to keep it very simple. And then the orientation will be vertical. Okay, I delete this text view. And the first thing we are going to put is an image view with the channel icon. The width and height we keep it to 200 dp layout height also 200 dp then the source i'm going to make the image source the launcher icon so use mip map I see launcher then I want this image to be in the center so what I do I use layout gravity and that will be center right now I want some space around the image so I will give it a margin of 25 dp margin 25 dp ok 
okay that's it for the image now below the image i want to use a channel name so the name of the channel that will be playing so we use a text view for that Layout out with this will be wrap content and height also wrap content give it at a text size of 25 sp and the text will be the channel name in this case i'm going to make galaxy fm and also the layout gravity make it center yeah that's it and i don't like the white background so i'm going to change the background of the whole layout here so i got this linear layout and then background i'm going to use this card view dark background in my color which looks like this if you want to use any other color that's of your choice you can click on this and then go to custom and choose a color or an image or anything you want to use so now this text you can see it is not visible what you're going to do is to make it white so it's a text color to white that's it now what we need to to play this radio we are going to use a web view and i will place it down here so i want to use a small web view but let me first rearrange my code so i go to code format code okay so now it's arranged now i create a web view the width will be much parent and then i will give it a height of 200 dp then i'll give it a layout margin of 20 dp that will be 20 dp around it it looks good now and since we want to revert this web view in our code we have to give it an id so we'll give it an id i'm just going to keep it simple and just call it web view that's it and now we go to our code but before that our launch icon is looking like this but i downloaded an image that i want to use at the launcher icon which will also be showing here so to go to the resources folder go to mip map click on that folder right click new image asset then here the foreground layer the source asset we are going to use an image and the path click on that to choose the path of the image you want to use so i click on it then i can click on the desktop then in this directory i can find my downloads folder then click on that icon open it so the background layer i'm going to use a color and to be white something around there okay then foreground layer i want to resize this image so i move that looks good okay now click next and you will see that this will be replaced okay then click finish and make sure that the source set here is set to main so if you set it to main then this image will be used for both the debug and the release versions of the app <coughs> so click finish and that should set the image okay this will update yeah like that so now let's go to our code now we need to create two objects so need to create a private web view and i'm just going to call it web view 
<laughs> then too you need web settings web settings and i call it web settings in the on create method down here we are going to instantiate this one so web view is equal to find view by id r dot id dot web view then we have to set some we have to give this web view some settings so we have to set we have to set our web view client and our web chrome client so web view dot set web view client and just call new web view client then we have also to set a web chrome client web view dot set web chrome client and it will also be new web chrome client we are just going to use the defaults now web settings will be web view dot get settings then you shall use this web settings dot set set javascript so I have to enable javascript to be able to load and play the media so set javascript enable to true you see this little warning but that's completely okay you don't have to worry about it then you can also set the database in a broad then set that to true that should be it and now here we need the string private string channel url and since this string is not changing we could make it final so this should be behind here Wait, what's wrong? Okay, so I need to open my notepad once again and copy that link. And now put it here. So now what we have to do finally is to use the web view view dot load url and then we pass in the channel url okay everything is done everything is ready the net permission is on now what we have to do is to build and run our app i'm selecting the my device here and see where is it which is here let me unlock it okay now i can click build and run the app this will take some time so i will pause the video from here and then resume it building is finished now let's wait for the installation app has been now launched as you can see it is working fine the video is now playing so that's it about this video and if you want to add more things to your app you can do so and also if you want to add ads and start monetizing it 
there's a guide in the description about how to add the ads and monetize your app thanks for watching and if you are new here subscription would be magnificent goodbye talk to you next time